It's a fascinating subject indeed. And for more on this, we are now being joined by Robert Powell. He's the executive board member of the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies from Austin, Texas. And for our viewers, our guest represents an organization whose purpose is the scientific study of unidentified aerial phenomenon or UAP. Robert, thanks for joining us. Thank you. A sensational claim has got the world talking. Some are excited, some are scared. A Mexican journalist says we are not alone. Given your study and experience, what do you think? Uh, the uh, Mexican, uh, what was presented in Mexico, uh, we believe is not valid evidence. Um, if, if that was true, they should have gotten DNA information and provided that in a scientific forum. And that has not been done. Right, absolutely. I mean, uh, now these alleged remains of non-human beings, as they are being called, what could they be if not aliens? I think that's what everybody's wondering. Well, what I've read is they are actually uh, various animal parts that have been put together. But there's no dearth of conspiracy theories surrounding extraterrestrial life. Is there enough evidence to say that we are not alone? I think there is enough evidence to say that we're not alone. Uh, the, the key parts of that evidence are very many times where we've been able to establish that objects have accelerated through our atmosphere at anywhere from 100 g-forces to a thousand g-forces and one g-force is what you and i feel as we sit in our chair at six g-forces we will pass out and at 15 g-forces most of your modern jets the wings will be torn off of the aircraft and these objects we have calculated have moved at between 100 and 1,000 g-forces of acceleration. Right, just breaking down the science here, g-force, gravitational force. Um, are you saying when you're talking about these objects, you're talking about UFOs or unidentified flying objects. Now, the moment you say these terms, people, the layman links them to aliens. So I think it's very important to make that distinction. Right, and we can't say... Uh, what is in the craft, right? They could be robotic systems, they could be drone type systems, they could have something inside them. There's no way for us to know, you know, what is running the craft. However, we do know that that capability is not a capability that any nation state on earth currently has. Right. Uh, you know, I, I must say that anyone who's interested in this subject will be really keen to know what you think about this. Now, NASA did not find any evidence that UAP has an extraterrestrial origin. That was what was said moments ago at a press conference. But they have invited more citizens to come forward with sightings of any kind. Now, will this help or create more conspiracy theories? Um, actually, they, they will need to be very careful in that because the vast majority of sighting reports are misidentifications. So when you have this large amount of data coming in, you have to have an effective method of filtering out that data so that you concentrate on the more important sightings and not the 95, 99% of sightings that are explainable. Right, just a final question there, Robert. Uh, very quickly, given your experience, is there enough evidence to suggest that aliens exist, yes or no? Uh, I believe there's enough evidence, yes, to suggest that there is a non-terrestrial uh, presence occasionally in our atmosphere. Right, Robert. Thank you so much for saying that so well. Thanks for joining us on Beyond World is One. Thank you. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.